It's 632 on the start of your Tuesday morning crayons, pencils, folders. We know your back to school is so long as you get ready for the new school year. Mm -hmm. And with prices on so many things going up these days, you might be tempted to buy the cheapest items you can find. Well, that might save you now, but chances are it would cost you in the long run. So I caught up with some teachers wanted to see what they recommended spending those extra few dollars on and uh, we did some testing of our own. As you hit the stores to fill your back to school shopping lists, we're all trying to save a little cash. I spoke with teachers from Williamsville and West Seneca, and they get it. I have two girls that are going in fourth and second, so I'm doing the parent side of it also. So I, you know, trying to be savvy on my price, but also know like which ones I want to get the good stuff for. So I asked their opinion on school supplies. Which can I buy generic for? And where should I spend the extra few dollars for name brand stuff? One thing they say is a no brainer, crayons. Mostly Crayola is the brand that we see to be, you know, the best. Um, it lasts, they don't break very often. The generic ones have like an extra layer of um, wax. There are so many brands that tend to break easier than others. So we decided to check it out for ourselves. I bought Crayola and generic crayons and not having a child to do the testing, I went for the next best thing. Okay, okay. <laughs> We found the Crayola crayons were brighter, and wow. when it comes to durability, yep. did you break it yeah. already? The generic crayons broke pretty easily. Next, the teachers say spend the extra couple bucks buying pencils. Ticonderoga pencils, they work so much better. They don't break when you sharpen them. The Ticonderoga are the best. I would stay away from the pencils that have designs or pictures because <laughs> they tend to have a plastic covering. And then when the yep, students go well. to sharpen those <laughs> pencils, they tend to jam up the pencil sharpeners. We found exactly that during our testing, especially when our <clears throat> kid sharpened the pencils that had a design. You look really close, like the shredding on the pencil. Mm -hmm. And then you like keep sharpening it and the plastic like but the swirls around it and they have to rip it off. Yeah, definitely. And then they play with them because then they pull the, the covering off. The teachers also tell me spend the extra few cents on plastic folders. They just hold up better than paper and get a good pair of scissors. The Fisker scissors really work much better. I think it's essential for kids to have a good pair of scissors. But what the teachers want parents to know more than anything, they're ready to take care of your little ones this school year. Being a parent, you know, myself, that they're in good hands and they're going to have the best time. There you go. So we had a lot of fun testing testing those items. Thanks for play, yeah. playing the role of a child. <laughs> You're very welcome. It was a lot of fun coloring. It was fun. Kind of took your mind off and a lot of things. we saw exactly what the teachers are talking about. So you can find my price tracking and the cheapest places to get some back to school supplies by going to wkbw.com slash price tracker. Nothing like a good laugh in the morning, right? <laughs>